Coming up right now, this one is for the guys. Some great advice on helping out around the house. Yep, we're talking brownie points for the wife. Also coming up, forget about flying first class. There's a new cabin on board and not all passengers are allowed. And later, a major airline is forced to divert a flight. We're going to tell you what the uh, stink was all about. <laughs> oh, Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. I am Mitch English and welcome to Daily Flash Season yeah. 7. Yeah. yeah, buddy. And this tall man right next to me, Matt Doolittle, joining us here. Uh, Matty welcome to the, to the show, Thank Matty. You. You'll be up here doing stuff. What are you doing? What, what the I hell mean, are you doing on this I'm show? I'm going to do more correspondence stuff, a lot of travel things, a little okay. bit of my own commentary. Do I still have to do the bits where I wear stuff and eat yes. Yes. things? Yes. You're going to do that. And matter of fact, we need you to prepare. Fine. All right? We got I'll, something for I'll you. I'll go get ready. Y'all yeah. have fun with your All new right. season. Well, all right. Get out of here, Matty. <laughs> all righty. Uh, oh, uh, want to say hello to our 16 new affiliates here. Uh, 7.1 million viewers out there now for, for news and seven, seven for season seven here and a, a tradition uh, that, that we've started oh my gosh years and years ago as i would get a new suit uh for every <laughs> new season and this is this year's new suits thoughts anyone i like it yes yeah. wow. it's very which festive. is great well i can hang on the window and be uh basically curtains <laughs> yes and i'm i'm wondering if this is going to spray water in my eye at well, some hold point. on i got a little thing <laughs> well I have to fill up the water for it. Anyway, we are seriously yeah. so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you along for season number seven of Daily Flash. This is where we give you an hour pack for trending news and entertainment. So let's kick it off. Okay. Right now. Here we go. Small tidbit of family housekeeping advice has okay. gone viral when uh, a guy by the name of Isaac Colavecchio, the dad behind Dadwise channels on social media, posted a video headline, Something Dad Should Stop Doing. Take a look. Something that Dad Should Stop Doing. We need to stop asking our wives if there's anything we can do to help. What we should do instead is look around the house, analyze the situation, and then just tackle the first thing that seems to be interfering with the peace of the household. For me, when I come home, it's usually my toddler, and it's usually literally tackling him is what I need to do. So instead of making your wife stop what she's doing, and delegate you a task for how you can support her. Just look around, see what needs to be done. Okay. I disagree with this. I disagree with this. And so say why, sir. Okay, first off is is that uh, I think I need. What do you need from me to do right now? Mm -hmm. Because I will do something, and I and if I find like I just find a task. I've done it wrong. I will not be able to do it right. And then I get frustrated. I go, well, yes. you know what? I don't really want to do it. I, I, making coffee at my house is a huge thing because Liza makes it a, a, a probably the, the right way. And I'm just like, here, get water and pour it in there and everything. And I was making it wrong. I would make it for her all the time. Okay. And she goes, oh, this thing. And she, she didn't like stuff. it. She didn't like it. And I go, you know what? I don't think I should make your coffee more. She's like, all right, whatever. And I, I think the same way, I think that you should, he's right, you should take initiative and just do something. Yeah. By all means. But I saw, honestly think too, is that I think that, or at least for me, and this is how she and I work, is I have a certain way I want things done. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want it done right, you do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that she subscribes to that as well. So if, if I do it, it's almost more work for her. I think though relationships often fall into that pattern of like one person does all of this, the other person does all of that. And then sometimes the one person thinks, hey, it'd be nice if you took out the trash or hey, it'd be nice if you yep. unloaded the dishwasher. But I think you get used to one another doing those things yeah, and you point. maybe take each other for granted. I think that's a very good point. And, and I honestly don't see anything wrong with just having a weekly inventory of saying, hey, what do you need me to do yeah. without me asking? So, you know, about trash. You know, I never thought about it. Yeah, I guess I can take out yeah. trash. And so, and then, and then she, this is one less thing she has to worry and, about. And guys rightfully so say, hey, we're not mind readers. And we women tend to internalize and think, well, they should know they should just do that. But honestly, you don't unless right. we just say something. Hey, can you take out the trash? That's all, uh, that's all you that's guys all need really to hear. Need. Yeah. Right. And all a guy needs to hear is, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think you if need you, me to. I don't think I need to. You don't take out the trash. <laughs> well, no, you know what we want. Yeah, of course. Right. Well, have you ever had a kid kicking the back of your airline seat? Oh, yes. 
a tale as old as time, but one that might become less of a problem if a new initiative takes off. Corrin and Airlines is launching an adults-only section on flights with yeah. dedicated seating for passengers ages 16 and up. The Dutch airline hopes to improve the experiences for its travelers with or without children. The adults-only zone will be situated at the front of the aircraft in an area separated by a wall and curtains. Now, it's worth noting that while the airline does offer a premium booking option, there are no business or first-class seats available, kind of like a South Southwest Airlines sure. for the European travelers. The airline believes their business travelers will likely benefit the most from this new kid free zone. Bravo. Bravo. I'm with Bravo. you. And I'm willing to pay that extra. Yeah. If it's 20 bucks, right. you know, I mean, as long as it's not an absorbent amount, I'd pay $20 extra. I mean, I know ticket prices are really high, but if I know, it depends on, I guess, if I'm going for leisure, I, I don't care. But yeah. if like I'm business and, or I got up really early, I know that I'm, this is going to be an early flight. Yeah, man. It, it, it just, it's, We've lost, we are taking so many things away from us mm -hmm. as far as the enjoyment of what we can do on a flight. And that doesn't, if, if that also says there's a dress code in that area too. Can we yes. put that there? Oh, I love that idea. Yes. I would love that. There was that a idea. time where people actually dressed up for right? flights. Yeah. I mean, I want to see you in your flip flops. I won't see it. I know. Okay? I won't do it at all. I, I did see an airline uh, person, a, a flight attendant, speak out against people who complained about children screaming on airplanes. Myself. And her point was, Get get the noise silencing headphones, and I get that. But I think there's yeah. also a point where passengers are like, "Is there anything that you can do?" Because you're in a small space, you're in a confined space, and I get it. I feel for these parents who've got the, the yeah. children, but you know, there's got to be some sort of middle ground. I have that noise canceling thing too, and yeah. somehow some of these kids they, they break through. Uh, they, <laughs> it's a blood curdling. Yeah, that the, uh, the mom cannot hear, and <laughs> only I can hear. It's I know. True. All righty. Anybody who does fly for work or even pleasure, you got to listen to this. So it was a Delta flight. Oh boy. So be a long Delta flight. It was a Delta yeah. flight from Atlanta to Barcelona. Good. Forced to be turned around after a passenger on board suffered a bout of explosive diarrhea. Oy. It was on his way to the plane's lavatory. The flight was over Virginia uh, when the pilots had to go, uh, we're heading back. <laughs> and a text message sent to air traffic control, which by the way, how are they allowed to text message and we're not? <laughs> Good question. Uh, the captain explained to him, quote, divert to Atlanta. There's a passenger's diarrhea all over the aircraft. It's a biohazard, close quote. Well, once the flight landed, crews had to thoroughly clean the aircraft, replace all the carpet in the mm. aisle. A good news for the passengers, it was not uh, canceled, only delayed. The aircraft presumed its journey to Spain five hours later, crap free. The Delta acknowledged the flight encountered an unexpected medical event. Is that what that is? An a medical unexpected event? Metal, an explosive. Explosive. Unexpected uh, medical uh, event. We were chatting about it, uh, you know, just how, uh, well, first off, I don't know how they got the shot because it looks like the person taking the video is climbing over the seats. Yeah. Doing that. But uh, having, how do you not know, like, man, my tongue, my, I got That's the bubble thing. good. It if, ain't feeling good. If, if it's that bad, how do you not know before you get on yeah. the plane? Uh, and, and, the, and there is that feeling. There's also something our body knows when we're 10 feet away from a bathroom. Uh -huh. is, that, is that the only that's one? That's okay, so I, okay, true. Okay, am I right on it? Okay. And that's <laughs> apparently is that, you know, and well, I'm only 10 feet away. It's really going to be intensified after that. I could, I could not imagine how, I would never, I would just be I, a hermit. From I, that, I just wonder too, it's like the person, whoever it was, was coming from the back of their section all the way forward. Was there not a bathroom that, in that back area they could have gone the to? Aisle. I guess that's <laughs> it. Australians are finding no strangers to finding success in the United States. Sydney James Webb is the latest athlete to make his mark in the land of opportunity. Scott Coughing down a small farm's worth of chicken wings during, now, during the international eating competition. 34-year-old made headlines 276 chicken wings in 12 minutes. Whoa. That's 23 wings a minute. He has now a world record for the competition. So we here at Daily Buzz, we got to do the same we thing. We love right? to break world records here. So uh, we we got uh, Maddie and we got uh, James, sweet baby James, sitting over here. We're going to go from Flash that story Kitchen. to this. Okay. Yeah, this is uh -huh. what you have to do. Thanks. Now we're going to have a competition in 30 seconds. Uh, how many chicken wings you can, can do. You, now, you get guys that are one. taking it up one notch. What are you doing there, sweet baby? Add a little hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, you hot get that sauce one. Sauce. And neither of them are boarding a plane after all right. this. <laughs> so all right, here we go. We got, uh, we're going to see how many you can eat in 30 seconds and we're going to start in five, four, three, 
two, one, one go. go! All right, and Matt takes off. Oh, nice and easy. Ah, you can see. Oh, they're yes. doing. See, oh. I would do the whole like Popeye thing where you're yeah, and then out. just and just take yes. it all out. You're taking chewing it one by one. Put your bones back in the bowl. All right, James, moving on to number, number two. two. Here we go. All righty, Here very back. good. Here we go. We got 15 seconds left. 15 so far. You guys are so so. You suck at eating chicken wings. Two, Good night, ten. Two, three, two, here we go. Three, five. Here we go. And we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, two one. That's it. Put it down. Take your wing down. Show each other's the bowl. Let's see the bowl. We have two and two for Matt. Well, three I don't for know. James. I have three. Three. Matt, you took two. Yeah, yeah. Sweet baby James, our winner. James. It was the hot sauce. Congratulations. More flash after this. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Fall is in the I air. I love it. Did you know that, Mitch? Oh <laughs> my goodness. We have the perfect snack made with just a few natural ingredients and it can be whipped up in no time. We're making a caramel apple dip. Do you say caramel or caramel? I'm glad you said that because I was I say this, I say caramel. Yeah. I want to say caramel. Yeah. For some reason. I don't know because I feel like I'm I always say words wrong. But I say caramel. I think you can say it either way. You can say it either way. Caramel, yeah. caramel. Caramel, caramel. And either way, this is what you need. Here, yeah. here first off, before we jump off, you want kids to eat your apples, you know? This is the, what you, the recipe you need to find out about so you can get your kids to eat apples. The All caramel right? sauce is a delivering mechanism exactly. for fruit. Exactly. Uh -huh. Get you some maple syrup. You'll just need about a, a quarter cup of it. Same goes for maple syrup and coconut oil. Uh, two tablespoons of almond butter. If you don't have that, peanut butter works fine. A little bit of salt. Some vanilla extract, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And of course, we need some of the apples and you have to slice them. And I'm yeah. gonna start slicing, okay? And I'm just gonna mix this stuff up while you slice, Mitch. And so I'm pouring in the coconut oil and then we've got this lovely stuff and then we're gonna throw in some peanut butter here. And Jackson, can I say a really yeah. quick hello to my parole officer yeah. telling him, I know I'm violating it by holding this knife, but uh, I'm doing it for the, the greater good. You should have had the spatula. Is that what you're telling yes, me? Yes, uh, and actually he suggested that, but uh, I think we'll be okay. All right, you now once you get this, this you're, you're in, the best part about this is you can use your microwave or you yeah. can use your oven. Either yeah. way, it's fine. You want to get your microwave as you put all that uh, together and yep. melt all of it there only for about, what, a minute or so? About a minute or so. Don't forget a little half teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to throw that in there. And then a pinch of salt, you know, because everybody needs a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And then you whisk this up real good. And the nice thing is the coconut oil will really break down the peanut butter. So, oh, goodness, I need a paper towel. And you can um, look at, can we get that shot from yeah. above? And you can see, like, it's already how, like, it's kind of a little bit of a congealing. And yeah. eventually, once you get it in the microwave, it's going to look a little yeah. different as well. Get it in there. Um, now, uh, once you throw it in there for about a minute, be very careful when you get it out the microwave. That's right. Because it's going to be very, very hot. Then you want to add some salt on top of it mm -hmm. and just sprinkle a little bit of it in there as if this is already done. It's that salted caramel mm. that makes the big difference because a little bit of the sweet. Yes, and, and, and the, the salt. Oh, yeah, if you add you're that talking my game. Some people add the vanilla afterwards. Yeah. You can add it in there. If I, I add vanilla to everything, yes. first off. It's, vanilla, I think, in my opinion, you can never add too much unless it's like aerosol and you know, and, <laughs> and you're on a flight. <laughs> is it, and, and you're on a flight somewhere, exactly. All right, definitely want to make sure that they, you let this sit and cool down before you serve, okay? Because it's a big deal. It takes about five minutes. This is where you t tell the kids, hey, take five minutes and yeah. chill. Exactly. You say then, it like that. Then you get your beautiful presentation set up. Now, now, important to note, do not leave uh, this stuff in the fridge for too long because the coconut oil will cause it to solidify. So, but if it does happen, just let it sit out at room temperature until it softens Can back I say it? Again. Can I say it? Yeah. It gelatinates. It <laughs> <laughs> All right, then yeah, once you get it out, you're ready to dip your apples. And, and again, you're going to probably have a party uh, for the holiday season sometime. Oh. This, no matter what time of the fall it is, these are the best parts. Oh, this is tasty. It's really good. Watch your double dipping, folks. Mm. Do you see how the salt makes a difference? Yes, on this? a huge difference. Um, I'm not. I wouldn't be too afraid, and I know we're trying to kind of keep this a little healthy. But I like. I would throw a little butter in there. That's just me though, because there's nothing better that smells so good throughout mm -hmm. the house is when you uh, just cook butter. I would just cook butter for mm -hmm. aeros just for aroma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Anyway, this recipe, very, very simple, very easy to do. It's one of those that you definitely want to do with the kids because yeah. let them get involved mixing it together. And because of course, it's keep easy it and pretty, it's extremely pretty easy. low maintenance. Yeah. And then if you can get them to eat the apples, that's mm. what they're going to love as well. Do you part. have a cool recipe that you'd like to share? Mm -hmm. We'll let the world know about it. All you have to do is just drop us an email at yeah. flash at dailyflashshow.com. Or you can send it to us directly. Either way, we'll make sure that we let America know yeah. about your easy And we'll make, make sure that it's posted on the website yes. so that you can grab the recipe. And now I believe it's time for a new segment. Oh, show. yeah. Guess what, kids? Grab your presents. It's time for a celebrity birthday. Woo! Happy, Woo! happy birthday. It is your favorite time of the week. Mm. We, tell, we tell you how old those fancy, pretty people that we adore actually are. It's this week in Celebrity Woo! Woo! Someone say, hey, look. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I can do an age. I can work at a fair and come. We're talking about Hollywood people. Yes. yes. And they and sometimes uh, some parts are older than other parts yep. of their body. Upgrades. <laughs> so I know at home you guys are thinking, hey, oh, yeah, I got this game like that. I can tell you uh, an age. It's not going to be the case. They hide their age. My dad was 40 for 15 years. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the other thing, too. The Hollywood folks, there's the Hollywood age, and then there's a real the age. The real age. Yeah, there's the one they actually Okay, maybe that's what we yeah. should keep in mind when we do this. All right, what do we got, Matt? Right, first up on September 11th, he had a hit song like one of those techno mm. songs from the James Jason Bourne movies, okay. along with being the bald butt of a few Eminem lyrics. How old is Moby? Moby. Moby. How old is Moby? I would oh, say Moby. 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 The bald does throw him away. Yeah, and he's uh, looked older forever. Older. He put some tattoo, extra tattoos over the years. All right, I'm going to say he's in his 50s. I'm saying 53. 53 50. says Mitch. Okay, I'm going to go 62. 62. He is 57. 57? Oh. A little closer, Mitch. I, was, okay. I got closer yes. to the bin? All right. So, so I got Moby. Showcase showdown right here. Yes. All right. All right. Next up, he uh, crossed his way to being mm. a billionaire who owns his own studio in Atlanta, oh. rather cross-dressed his way. He was <laughs> even an admiral in the Starfleet. That is, of course, this man born on September 13th, Mr. Tyler Perry. How old is Medea? That's a good question. I'm he got some money to hide all that, too. So. I'm going to say 48. I want to say he's in his 40s. Yeah. I want to say like 48. I want to say 45. Okay. 45. Okay. okay, it is going to be Andrea. He is 54. <gasps> 54, really? Oh, That's it. wow. Yes. Wow. That's My crazy. Goodness. I'm allowed to say black don't crack, right? Because I mean, he looks great. He <laughs> neither looks does fantastic. money. <laughs> money does yeah, money yeah, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and last on September 15th, the man behind the Bane mask and oh. symbiote host of Venom, Tom Hardy, turns a year older. How how old is this heartthrob? He's 38. I can tell you right now. <laughs> He's 38. Wish. The Hollywood age or his real age? His his, his, his real, real age. age. I'm gonna go 54. 54. He is going to be 46. Oh, geez. that wasn't too. We were too far. Were I'm 38. I don't look like that. Really? I'm 38. <laughs> Bang for good. You're hard to tell. Wow. Uh, very cool. All right, there we go. Uh, didn't he play that guy? Yeah, yes. he played okay, that guy. Yeah. He's covered up and you couldn't yes. see him. So he's 46? Yeah, 46. But he can play 54. He can play 54 <laughs> very well. Maddie, thank you. <laughs> That's great, Ben. Thank you. Have some Let me try yeah. some. You're our child. Have some of that. And make sure you go play with Billy and bring him down here. This is the cool Call Dad. Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> Dad, approve the recipe. We're okay. We're talking about rude road trips when we return. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. If you took a road trip this summer, you probably went through some really weird places on the road. Well, in today's Car Smarts Lauren Fix the Car Coach tells us why America might just have some of the most rudest places. America has some of the rudest road names in cities. From Intercourse, Pennsylvania to Buttsville, New Jersey, there are hundreds and hundreds of tiny villages, settlements, ghost towns throughout the United States with names to make you wonder, why would you name your town that? From Poop Deck Street in Alaska to Hanky Panky Street in Las Vegas, vacation car rental experts at StressFreeCarRental.com and our team have researched the most unique and maybe offensive road names and cities in the country to create the ultimate road trip for a good laugh. Chicken Bristle, Illinois. The name is believed to be from the cockfights from those who lived there 100 years ago that they used to host those, and it was described in the news as about a half a dozen homes, a radio tower, a bridge over the Cascasea River, thick woods, some stray dogs, and a lot of farmland. Hump Tulips, Washington. The name Hump Tulips means hard to pull. In the local Native American language, because the river was difficult to navigate with canoes, the author Terry Pratchett once claimed it was his favorite place on earth. Booger Hole, Booger Hole, West Virginia. Fun fact, after a spat of about a dozen murders in the area, it's claimed that the town was named after the boogeyman 
This is apparently untrue. Kickapoo, Kansas. Shouldn't laugh, really, as the community is named after a tiny Native American tribe. Boar Tush, Alabama. We can't find any reason not to believe that this town was named after a pig's backside. Bald Knob, Arkansas. Named in more innocent times when a bald knob called simply by a prominent ridge of a rock lacking vegetation without implying anything dirty. Satan's Kingdom, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. There are at least three places called Satan's Kingdom in the U.S., one of which, no word of a lie, a state-run recreation area. Even worse, two of them were apparently so hastily incorporated that they were missing the apostrophe. Unalaska, Alaska. This island's name actually predates that of the mainland, but it sounds like a group of people got pretty ticked off and they ran off in a huff to their own island. Hell, Michigan. I've actually been there. There was such an epidemic of drunk husbands in the early days of this town, according to local legends, that the wives would say they've gone to hell. So when they named the town, the mill owner said, call it hell for all I care. Everyone else does, which is surely the dumbest reason to name a town after what's generally agreed to be the worst place in the universe. Santa Claus, Arizona. This is an odd name as the town named Santa Claus has been abandoned since 1995. Santa must have moved to the North Pole. Tight Squeeze, Virginia was named because two businessmen built their shops too close to the road, creating a traffic bottleneck and the residents of the town decided to call it Tight Squeeze. Idiotville, Oregon. The logging camp that operated here was once said to be so remote that only an idiot would work there. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, originally called Hot Springs. The town renamed itself after a popular radio show heard from its host that they announced that they would broadcast the 10th anniversary show from the first town that was willing to change their name to the name of the show, which goes to show you that plenty of Americans are prepared to put up very stupid names indeed. I hope you got a few laughs along the way. I'm Lauren Fix, and you can find this information on my website, carcoachreports.com and dailyflashshow.com. Thanks, Lauren, and welcome to this week's Daily Digits. And this is a new segment we're trying out here. I'm Matt Doolittle, where we try to break down some of the big numbers in the world that you should know. Now, the first number today is 10. That's the number of states in the U.S. that do not require passengers in the rear of a vehicle to wear seatbelts anymore. This just got wow. passed in a lot of states. And I, I can imagine, I remember rolling around in the backseat as a kid and my dad trying to slam on the brakes <laughs> as hard as possible. Oh, I can so, run up you on that when I sat on the armrest in the front absolutely. seat. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, the fact that there's still states out there where they're like, no, just go ahead and fight. I want to go, go play in those states. <laughs> I mean, it's always a good time. Uh, your next number this week is four. That's the number of states that have made rules requiring home sellers and in, uh, to disclose landlords if there has been any bad weather, including floods in an apartment, which okay. they formally huh. didn't have to disclose. The states are New York, New Jersey, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and of course not Florida, where you would figure there would be a you lot just of that count on it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's good to know out there. And your final digit for the day is 25. 25 is the minimum age to be an Uber driver in California now. They determine this number based on the cost of insurance rising. Yeah. Also, do you really want to get picked up by an Uber driver who's less than that, who can't even <laughs> rent a car? I, I just found that fascinating. I thought I, I, I Ubered for a little bit and I never, you know, I was over that age, so I didn't even look at it like that. But I don't want an 18 year old. Well, Uber I would, because I want to have a good conversation with a 25 year old, I guess, sometimes, you know? <laughs> yes, and you're probably not going to get that with an 18 year old. <laughs> right, yes. Uh, exactly. Indeed. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. To our daily digits daily there. We'll have digits. that. Daily digits. I like all it. All the time. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. We got more flash, uh, fl flash, daily and flash and flash. Sure. Stick around for that. Uh, we'll have a whole lot of fun, too. Stick around. You're watching Daily Flash. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I am Mitch English. And I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash. Yeah. Yes, your source for trending news and entertainment. 
I saw a story, Mitch, I think you'll appreciate, okay. involving Billy Idol. Oh, you know I love Billy Idol. I know. The truth behind the song White Wedding. Oh, gosh. Tell me. i got to hear okay, this. Okay. So he was in a recording studio in Los Angeles putting down tracks for a song. White Wedding came to him because his sister was getting married in England. And at the time, she was pregnant. And at that time, it was not a good thing to be pregnant before you got married. So he said the, the lyrics came to him easily. Hey, little sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, shotgun. It's like a, a nice day wedding. for a white wedding. You know, I, I, I've, uh, Billy Idol was my, I mean, I, my first concert I ever went to was Billy Idol, and I, mean, I had all of his albums. I loved him since Generation X. Now I follow him on uh, Instagram. Yeah. And all he posts are pictures of his grandkids. His little, he has a little, little girl <laughs> named Rebel. Cool. <laughs> Love that, and and he's like a granddad. It's so funny to watch him doing this. It's like man, and I go, I, but I'm like, it's not like, oh man, it's like, oh man, this is awesome. That's Looking neat. at it, so it's neat to see him doing that. Now, yeah. now you know. Yeah. I kind of figured that, but I didn't know yeah. if it was that personal as it was. Yeah, kind of cool, huh? I like that. All right, let's move forward. You ever speaking of kids? Yes. And having kids, whether mm -hmm. shotgun or not. Have you ever had a kid kick in the back of your airline Ooh. seat? It is so annoying. Remember yes. the time I did? And I, I got a I got a camera and I just <laughs> yes, videotaped the kid and he kept on doing this and I showed it on TV. Anyway, it's a tale as old as time, but one that might become less of a problem if a new initiative actually takes off. Cordion Airlines is launching an adults-only section on flights with dedicated seating for passengers 16 and up. It's a Dutch airline and it hopes to improve experiences for travelers with or without children. The adults-only zone will be situated in the front of an aircraft in the area separated by a wall and curtains. It's noteworthy, uh, it's uh, worth noting rather that while the airline does offer a premium booking option, there's no business or first class seats available. Airline believes that their business travelers will likely benefit from the new kid-free zone. I said that so many times. And I don't mean like put them in the back, but I think in the back, you can maybe even give them a little extra room as yeah. far as seats and let the kids, you know, maybe you have a player back there or whatever, I'm fine with. Here's the first thing, you get them up in the front, it takes them forever to get off mm -hmm. the plane. And I, I, listen, I have five kids, so I'm allowed to do this. I, and I travel with them. <laughs> And I, uh, it, there's not enough melatonin in the world sometimes no. to get these kids to calm down. But there's people that, that you're already in a high stress situation. If you're a business person, you got just a screaming child. Sometimes it's just nice to be away from it for a little while. Yeah, and I think a lot of passengers feel helpless because they're like, why should yeah. I be subjected to this screaming child sitting right next to me? Is there anything anybody can do? And you feel for the parent because they don't want the child to be screaming and causing They don't want that, no, right. But sometimes right. they feel like parents who are in those situations, sometimes they tune out because they're so used to their kids screaming that it doesn't it, bother them. It's literally, it's true. Yeah. A mom does that. Yeah. A mom can, can they turn it out. That's why moms can get so survival many things skills, done. It's survival right? school, right? And they can get so many things done all at once because they're able to do that. And, but it's like, I can still hear them. I can still hear them. And I hate oh. complaining. I'm just, but it, it it's, it's fingers on a it chalkboard is. sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Well, for anyone who flies for work or for pleasure, listen to this. A Delta flight from Atlanta to Barcelona was forced to turn around after a passenger on board suffered a bout of explosive diarrhea. Oh, come on. On the way to the plane's bathroom <laughs> uh, mid-flight. Uh, 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 the flight was over Virginia when the pilots had to turn around. In a text message sent to air traffic control, the captain explained the problem saying, quote, divert to Atlanta. There's a passenger's diarrhea all over aircraft. It's a biohazard. <laughs> Once the flight landed, crews had to thoroughly clean the aircraft and replace all Look the carpet this. in oh. the aisle. Oh. Fortunately for passengers, the flight was delayed, not canceled. The aircraft resumed its journey to Spain about five hours look, later. Look, look at this, y'all. All right, keep on playing this video. Look at this. I mean, wh why, look at the, how long this is, yeah. man. So that person who had the problem was probably at the back of that section trying <laughs> to get to the front bathroom. And I heard from one news source that the person didn't make it to the bathroom and ended up having to... Oh. The, yes, whole, the, the whole thing. The rest of whatever was left was. Oh my gosh, no! I didn't. I didn't hear yeah. that part of the. Yeah. Oh wow! And then don't look at me. Don't look at me in my eyes. Don't look at my eyes. <laughs> How can you sit there and? Oh, just okay. I tell you what. We'll clear our mind, our palate, and everything, and have more right after this. Mm. All right, in flash travel, we're getting spooky. For the last 32 years, Halloween Horror Nights has been a must-attend event at Universal Orlando Resorts. Well, this year, they want to make sure you don't go alone.
This time of year gets spookier and spookier in Orlando, Florida. Halloween Horror Nights kicking off, going all the way till November 4th. Now, if you thought you've been to Halloween Horror Nights and seen everything, I got a big, big surprise for you. A big, scary surprise, too. It's really still there, isn't it? It's amazing what Universal does here because Halloween Horror Nights takes you to all different places, including the middle of the woods. Laura, this place is spooky. <laughs> if I start grabbing you like this, you're going to have to forgive it, me. It's okay. It's okay. Um, they tend to, the monsters tend to like me. Okay, good. They like me here. We are at Yeti Campground Kills. This. this is one of the original content haunted houses that we have at Universal's Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights, celebrating our 32nd year. Halloween Horror Nights, hopefully we won't uh, be able to get too scared because it is, it's pretty freaky here. It's pretty intense. There's 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, and amazing shows, but all here. And remember, bring a friend because you never want to go alone. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a little freaked out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's scarier, strange people or creative people? <laughs> creative people are definitely scary. I agree. <laughs> and you guys are so creative here in this stuff. How do you top each year? It gets better and better, and you really immerse people. How do you do that? Yeah, it's a real credit to our team. It's, first of all, hundreds of people that make these houses. This is such a massive collaboration yeah. of creative minds. We have some of the best makeup artists in the business. We have the best scenic designers. We have, uh, you know, the, the best costume designers. I mean, this is the same stuff you would see, like, in movies. Sets. Where are we at right now, too? We are standing in Vecna's Mind Lair in Stranger Things 4. So, you know, when, when you're talking about this immersive element of what we do, that's what makes Halloween Horror Nights so cool, yeah. is that when you walk through that front gate, walking through the five scare zones, you have these ten houses, it is an entire experience. So it is a fully immersive, interactive event, and I cannot wait for our guests to see it this okay, year. Okay, you say fully immersive. That means if we're in Vecna's cursed area here, yeah. that means, is, could he make an appearance? Or? Yeah, well, Vecna is here. I'm sorry, within yeah. where we're at. Yeah, Vecna is here. Well, excuse me, Matt. I'm going to let you deal with this. Get get him, not me. Get him, not me. <laughs> so we are at Merlin's Castle currently. Okay. And there's two warlocks, fire and ice, that are competing to take over Merlin's realm. And some of them you might see behind us here are some of the trolls that attack. We have fairies. We have skeletons and dragons. We have dragons. Dragons in this house, you will see. Were they duel? They are dueling. <laughs> and you uh, uh, you get to pick which one uh, at the end. We have two different endings. So you get to pick fire or ice at right. the end. See, see, Universal knows it. You, you go inside some of the haunted houses, you get scared, and you're like, all right, I need a little breather. You guys don't want that. You go, no. It's it's always the uh, surrounding of, of, of fear, I guess, somewhat. You are absolutely encapsulated in fear from, <laughs> from every inch of our park. I love that. Yes. All right, now, each year you guys have like an icon. You have one person that kind of really uh, represents what the theme is. This year is... Hello. Oh, uh, 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 introductions, please. I am Dr. Oddfellow. Uh, Dr. Oddfellow, uh, thank you for allowing us to be here. I'm not sure if I should look directly into his eyes, Kelly. Yeah, he might steal your soul if you do. I don't want that. Uh, are you going to be around uh, uh, here at the Universal? That I will be, my friend. Do join us tonight for a night of horror and delight. <laughs> I will. I will come. I promise. Halloween Horror Nights. It runs through November 4th at Universal Orlando. You can get your tickets and more info at Universal Orlando slash Halloween. Matt, you actually worked there. Yeah, right? worked there for 11 years as a character. It was awesome. You go through like three gallons of water a night. I bet. Yeah. It's scary. More Flash coming up. All right, you know, you don't have to be an entertaining expert or even a whiz in the kitchen to serve some flavorful homemade dishes, well, any day of the week. Joining us now with advice on becoming your own at-home personal chef is chef and entertaining expert, our favorite, C.C. Carmichael. Chef C.C., thank you so much for joining us. Tell us how viewers can actually really create some simple but yet flavorful dishes when they're at home. Hey, Mitch, thanks for having me. You know, I think everybody is so busy and it's weeknights, it's weekends, we are overscheduled. And so I think it's really important to have easy solutions on hand so you can whip up dishes, beautiful homemade dishes with the least amount of effort. That is totally key. 
And I have a lot of secret weapons, but my favorite now is Bush's Sidekicks. It is just an effortless way to bring homemade taste and a savory boost to your weekend nights. Um, and my number one tip, I think, for folks is to keep your pantry stocked. And not only, you know, with the basics, but also with what I call the heavy lifters, the, the products that are seasoned with vegetables, herbs, spices. You're not crawling around in your spice rack looking for the spices of the week. You want something already like one and done. So you're 10 to 15 minutes away from a homemade meal anytime. Um, I've got two recipes here. Okay. 10, I mean, literally 10 minutes. Everybody loves a rice bowl. This is a Southwest Zest rice bowl. It's got pre-seasoned pinto beans. Again, takes all the, the, the guesswork out of it. Rice, chicken. I think rice bowls are becoming really popular. And then taco night. Everybody loves a taco night. And then with your pre-seasoned black beans, it takes minutes. So these are two examples of, of, of dishes that you have no excuse not to cook. It's basically just putting things together and serving them up. I mean, the, the, the last thing that you need when you come home from a busy day is like thinking about a complicated dish. <laughs> I'm a professional chef. I don't think about complicated. I'm like, how do I get in and out as fast as possible? Yeah. So having these simple add-ons um, ready to pair with your favorite go-tos like chicken, rice, tacos, is just going to make your life so easy. And the wonderful thing about Bush's Sidekicks, it's a plant-based protein. You can use it as a side dish. It's going to give you a little boost of energy, gluten-free, no artificial preservatives. It's just a wonderful product to have right. in your arsenal. Yeah, and, uh, you <laughs> and know, you yeah, and the easy is the key for it. Folks want uh, some of these recipes and maybe even some more tips. Where can they go to get more information? Go to bushbeans.com and you can get all these fabulous recipes and give them a try. Thank you, Chef Cece, so much. We'll have this interview and so much more on our website, dailyflashshow.com. And now here are some great options if you suffer from any form of body discomfort. In the know, pain is something that affects millions of people, but it comes in many forms and from many causes. What works to relieve pain for one person may not work for another. So in honor of September being National Pain Awareness Month, here are some great natural pain relief tips for many ailments. Next time you have a headache, simply try resting your eyes and applying gentle pressure with a cool, wet washcloth. If you have chronic muscle pain, I would consider an at-home massager. The Wall Deep Tissue Percussion Massager is a great choice. The massager features variable intensity control from high penetration to a gentle, soft massage and everything in between. And the long handle makes it easy to reach sore back muscles. Plus, since it's cordless, you can use it anywhere. If you're plagued with acute injury pain, just remember rice. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Learn more at wallusa.com. Andrea, can you feel it? It is in the air. Yes. We're talking about back to school. Ooh. Moms, dads, I'm sure you're happy about it. Kids, well, guess what? We got something really, really cool. As it gets closer and closer, Microsoft and its partners are helping students make a seamless transition by providing the best technology to make the most of their educational journey. We got some great laptops here. First up is the Acer Aspire 3. Check this out. This laptop really can assist students throughout their school day and beyond with its 11 hour battery life. It's got a very slim and lightweight design, making it perfect and making sure it's not going to weigh down a backpack, all giving you effortless transportation to and from class. Really, really cool. The vivid colors of this thing is really, really neat. You can go to store.acer.com. I like the lightweight. Option. Lightweight makes yeah, a big difference. Trust difference. me on that. All right, next up, we got the HP Laptop 14. This is a beautifully compact design, and it's all made from ocean bound and post consumer recycled plastics. Its HP True Vision camera has temporal noise reduction and dual array du digital microphones, and that will keep students focused while completing their work and also, too, when they're out of school. You get some jams, you can jam it up. It's gonna sound really, really cool. I love the sleek design. It really, the colors pop out on this. You can go to hp.com, more details there. All right, finally, we have the Dell Inspiron 14 2-in-1. This is a versatile laptop that transforms into four modes to suit students' needs. Learners are gonna enjoy the enhanced audio experience with spatial audios and two up-facing speakers. All of these devices are equipped with Windows 11 to empower students on their academic path. Make sure students 
all the way to college and even there going to high school are prepared for back to school with a device from Microsoft and its partners. It's so neat to see how great these things look and how and the portability of it is definitely going to help them uh, get their homework done and then beyond as well. Look how gorgeous these things are. And especially when kids are doing so much on their laptops too, to have all the different options, the yes. two way speakers and the cameras and everything else being so up to date and lightweight makes a huge difference. And if you're saying, well, we can wait on the laptop right now is the perfect time to do it because the kids never want especially in college you have to have one I mean the curriculum is based around it you, mm -hmm. you have to have a laptop here and of course with Windows 11 you know that you get to your updates and you can be able to get through seamlessly all the different programs that they might need to add to it great really options cool for students and parents agreed well there's much more trending news and entertainment heading your way but first let's check in with our friends at the Daily Buzz right here on Daily Flash BBC. The countdown clock has expired. A fresh season of NFL football is underway, but tonight kicks off the Thursday night games and there's only one place you can catch them. We have a really fantastic team and, a, and it's a great show and I can't wait to get back with those guys. We got Minnesota and Philly, the first game of the season. I'm looking forward to that. We got Seattle and Dallas later on in the year. I can't wait for that one. I can get a chance for the Seahawks to flex their muscles, man. Prime Video will be streaming 16 regular season games, including an NFL first. They've given us this Black Friday football game. To be in New York for that, we're going to watch another divisional rivalry in Miami and New York uh, with the Jets. It's so much fun for me to be involved with. There's also big division rivalries like the Bengals and the Ravens. Like that that one to me is going to be one that's really excited. All the must-see matchups are happening Thursday night, so Prime Video is the place to be. Follow the Daily Buzz on social media. What is KSA Entertainment? It's trending news, entertainment, lifestyle, KSA Entertainment, culture, KSA. it's love, it's food, it's family, KSA. it's life, it's shopping, it's empowerment, KSA, KSA Entertainment, it's fitness, it's travel, KSA, it's fun, it's engaging, it's Daily Flash, Daily Flash Latino, life, love, shopping. This is KSA Entertainment. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Americans love fall football and fun, and that includes the good old fashioned tailgate party to cheer on their favorite team. And who knows more about tailgate party tips than former NFL player and seasoned chef Mark Schlereth. Hey, Mark, what do you have for us? Hey, when it comes to the football season, it's all about watching the game. It's all about being with family and friends. And when you're talking about watching the game, it's always best on LG OLED C3 TV, the goat of TV's bright colors, Chris Pictures, LG OLED, celebrated as the best TV by experts worldwide. Whether you're watching movies, you're gaming, watching football like me, it's always better on LG OLED C3 TV from 42 to 83 inches. You can get all the information you need at LG.com. Then Butterball's Hearty Turkey Sausage Links. Delicious, guys. Perfect for game day. They're pre-cooked. They heat on the grill in minutes. Robust flavors. You can serve it on a toasty bun or saute it with your favorite vegetables. Your people are going to love it. That's Butterball.com for recipes and more information. And then how about dessert? Everybody loves dessert. What if you break out a ice cream cake at the half for your family and friends? Wow. Carville ice cream cakes. You can find it in the local grocery department. The bakery freezer case right there for you. Check out the game ball cake. I'm telling you what, your people are going to love it. For a limited time, now through the Super Bowl, that's the game ball cake. You can find out more information at iloveicecreamcakes.com. And I'm telling you, when it comes to the football season, so many great storylines. One of the reasons we celebrate this game so much. Obviously, you've got Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes defending their championship. There's nobody better than him. But I look at the Jets, that storyline, they had a top five defense last year without great quarterback pay play. Now enter Aaron Rodgers. I mean, how's it going to get any better than that? And then when I look at the NFC in general, obviously the Philadelphia Eagles, I think their roster construction from top to bottom, they're so physical, they're so good. I think the same way about the San Francisco 49ers should be a great football season. And the thing about this time of year, everybody's got a chance. Enjoy the 2023 football season. Ooh, I'm ready for some football. I'm you? so excited that it's finally football season. It, it, it's just something about it in the air. I yes. love, I love the way it feels. 
Well, that does it all for us. We need to hit the field, but we'll be back in the locker room tomorrow. That's right. We'll be throwing touchdown passes. Yeah, snapping each other with towels. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Y'all take care. See you when we look at you. Bye-bye.